Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Hit that subscribe button if you are new. This is DR Games, you call me DR for short. In today's video I'll be showing you how to create a rare build today called an Offensive Oriented 4 in NBA 2K22 current gen. Okay folks, let's get right into the video. First things first here, you want to set your position to power forward. Pick whichever hand you prefer and whatever number you prefer. Now let's get right into the pie chart that we'll be using for this build today. Okay, Legion, one quick thing before we get into the pie chart, make sure to follow this build tutorial exactly how I have it. This is currently the only way I know how to get this build, folks. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the pie chart they want to use for this build today will be the mostly green with a little bit of blue, so the mostly shooting with a little bit of finishing. For your physicals right here, you want to go with the very first one with the most speed. Okay, now on to your attributes right here. For your close shot, you want to put it all the way up to a 92. Your driving layup all the way up to a 72. Your driving dunk all the way up to a 73. Now on to your shooting stats right here. For your mid-range shot, all the way up to a 78. Three-point shot all the way up to a 73. You want to put your free throw only up to the 62. And your post fade all the way up to a 93. Okay, now on to your playmaking right here. For your pass accuracy, you want to put it all the way up to a 70. Ball handle all the way up to a 61. Post control all the way up to a 74. Now on to your defensive stats right here. For your interior defense, you want to put it up to a 46. Perimeter defense all the way up to a 62. Lateral quickness all the way up to a 69. Steal all the way up to a 62 your block all the way up to a 73 and your offensive rebound all the way up to a 74 so in this build right here you get 11 finishing 20 shooting 17 playmaking and 5 defense keep in mind that the name of this build is offense oriented four, so you will be stronger on the offensive end but you will still be able to play solid defense with only 5 badges ok now let's get into the body type right here for the body type pick whichever you prefer for now I'll be going with the defined body type for your height right here, you want to drop your height all the way down to 6 foot 7. It will increase all your stats by quite a lot. Now on to your weight right here. For your weight, you want to go all the way down to 186 pounds. Any lower does not add no speed or acceleration. All it does is you drop your strength. So this would be the best weight right here for your build. Now on to the wingspan here. For your wingspan, you want to go down one tick to an 83. And for your takeovers right here, you get spot up shooter, post score, slasher, and shot creator. Pick whichever you prefer that fits your playstyle, but for me, I would recommend going with either slasher, post score, or spot up shooter. For now, I'll be going with the spot up shooter. And what you get yourself here is an offensive oriented four with the shades of Tobias Harris, Miles Bridges, and oddly enough, Boban Bobanovic. Okay, now let's get into the testing for the build right here. Okay, right here you want to max all the way out at a 99 overall. Keep in mind that for your physicals, they will go up a total of plus 8 with a combination of gym rat and hitting 99. If you do not know how to get gym rat, there are three ways you go about getting it. Way number one, become a starter in my career and win the NBA championship. Way number two, hit level 40 in any season. And way number three, go once a week to the Gator facility and complete your workouts, get your extra plus 4 to your physicals. But make sure to claim the quest at the front of the Gator facility first. Okay, now for your physical here, with the plus 8, you will have a 90 speed. You will have a 88 acceleration. And your vertical will go up to a 70, actually 80, an 80 vertical. Okay, now for your finishing stats right here, they go up only a total of plus 4 at hitting 99 overall. So your close shot will become a 95. Your driving lift will become an 81. Your driving dunk will become a 78, so you'll have pretty solid finishing on this build. Your mid-range shot will become an 86, which will be solid. Your three-point shot will hit an 84, so you'll be able to be a knockdown sharp with this build. Your post fade will become a 97, so you'll be able to hit the post fade on the guard or smaller bigs, or even on the bigger bigs, depending on how you feel. Your pass axe will become an 80. Your ball handle will become a 76, so at a 76 ball handle you have a lot of animations and locks, so you will be able to ISO with this build. Your post control will become a 77, so yes, you will be able to post up with this build. Your perimeter defense will become a 77 as well. 
your lateral quickness will become a 73 your steel will become a 75 your block will become a 64 so you will have solid blocking with this build and your defense rebound will become a 69 so you will be able to grab boards here and there this build is pretty solid you'll be able to run this in the park in the rec pro-am anywhere to be honest you have solid finishing, very good shooting, and honestly very good playmaking for being a 6-7 mostly green pie chart build. And very solid defense. You will have very good speed once you max this build out. Okay, now let's get into the badge portion of the build right here. For finishing, you get a total of 11 badges. With these 11 badges, I would recommend throwing on Limitless Takeoff, Poster Riser, Slithery Finisher, and with these last two, I recommend going with Fast Twitch. You can always change these to fit your playstyle, folks. Now, on for your shooting, you get a total of 20 right here. I would recommend Hot Zone Hunter, Sniper, Stop and Pop, Blinders, and with these last two, you can throw them anywhere, but for now, we're going with like a Silver Fade Ace and a Silver Green Machine. Okay, now on to the playmaking here, you get a total of 17 playmaking badges right here. 17 on this type of build is quite a lot, so I would recommend going with the first two off the start, would be Quick First Step. Unfortunately, you do not get handles for days on this build right here, so I'd recommend going quick first step, quick chain, hyper drive. You have eight left still right here, so I recommend going with downhill, bullet passer, and with your last two, you can place them wherever you want, but for now, I'll be going with the unpluckable. On this build, you will be able to dribble pretty solidly still, even though you do not have handles for days. Okay, now on to your defensive rebound. You get only five badges for defense. I'd recommend going with a gold clamps and silver intimidate. If you want to, you can swap it the other way around. Or even if you want to, you can run two silvers and throw your last one on either chase down or rim protector. But that's all up to you right here. For now, for me, I'll be going with clamps and intimidator. But feel free to mix and match these badges to fit your playstyle, folks. This builder here will be a solid build to run in park. You can easily run the two or even the three with this build. You'll be able to ISO, stop and pop and spot up shooters. Be able to get to the basket pretty easily with your 11 playmaking and also play pretty solid defense with five. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that is the video for today on how to create the rare offensive oriented four build in NBA 2K22 current gen. This build is honestly kind of an all around build right here, folks. If y'all enjoyed the video, hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications so you won't miss out on any future videos. Don't forget to smash the like button on the way out folks, can't wait to see y'all in the next one. Goodbye y'all.